I hope this podcast can inspire you to always dream big and make it your reality. I am your host, Jess Williamson, a serial entrepreneur and business coach. And today I am bringing to you a solo episode. I just had this random thought whilst in the shower one day. So I thought I've got to record this in a podcast. It is a super short episode, but it is full of value and a bit of a different perspective on some things that I have been seeing happening all over social media. I'm going to get into it in a minute, but I wanted to share with you a better way to really cultivate a six-figure mindset and how you can actually have more success in business. And that does not involve bringing someone else down. So I'm going to give you some really effective tips on how to get your mindset into that six-figure mindset and how to support others on their journey as well. Let's get into it. I'm here today to point out some hard truths but also to create a lesson and change in perspective for you that you can have more success and to stop comparing yourself. I hear daily, on the daily, that female entrepreneurs are struggling with the idea of comparison. So I'm here to give you the real talk, the things that no one's actually talking about because I want to see you succeed in your goals and in your business and I want you to feel good about it too. So sometimes, well, not sometimes, every time, growth and learning is uncomfortable. So I'm not here to tiptoe around topics. I'm here to give you the hard truths so that you can bust through those layers and really have more success along your journey. What I want to know is why, why we as women or why other people, I don't do this. So tell me why we feel the reason, the need to discredit someone else's success to make ourselves feel better. I've seen this going around Instagram, on comments, on Facebook groups, all over the place. People are even making reels about it, about the fact that when someone says they make six figures, it is their revenue and not their profit. And that profit is what matters. Now, yes, profit does matter. But why do we feel the need to point this out? Why do we feel the need to discredit someone else's success? That is the question that I want you to ask yourself because guess what? It takes a hell of a lot of effort. It takes a hell of a lot of hard work, determination and perseverance and continuing on when things get tough. It isn't easy to go out there and create your own business and to make six figures in your first year or however much you're making, whether it's $10, whether it's, you know, $100,000, It's still a freaking huge success. Like that has taken a lot of energy, a lot of guts, uh, so much stepping out of your comfort zone, so many things to get there. So why do we feel the need to point out the fact that this is their revenue and not their profit? This needs to be celebrated. That is a huge, huge achievement if you've gone out there and made six figures in your business. And I'm using six figures as an example because this is the one that I see spoken about the most over social media and the one that people seem to be discrediting the most. I want to know why are we not celebrating these women? These amazing women have gone out there, defied all odds, gotten out of their comfort zone and done something that is by no means easy. They've gone against what society tells us to do and they are chasing their dreams and creating a business that they actually love and that actually makes some income from it. So why do we feel the need to discredit that? I'm just so confused and I see people putting this out there so strongly And I'm going to share something with you because yes, a change in perspective can definitely help. If you're stuck in comparison and you're feeling down about yourself in your business, a change in perspective can help. However, I feel like this kind of change in perspective is actually doing more damage than good because what it's doing is keeping you stuck in comparison. You're still comparing, right? You're saying, Oh, actually, they didn't do as well as I thought they did. 
So that makes me feel better about my business and where I'm at. Like, where is the logic in that? Comparison is real and comparison can be debilitating and stopping us from getting to our goals. However, there is a much more effective way to chase your goals and to change your perspective. I'm going to share with you a better way to work on your mindset than discrediting someone else's success. I want to see more women supporting each other and saying, hey, congratulations. That's actually freaking amazing that you went out there and did something that was uncomfortable and actually made an income from it. You don't know their situation. That could be all profit. None of it's profit possibly. But guess what? They're using that time and income to invest in themselves and their business. The biggest companies, the most successful companies take five plus years to be profitable. Why? Because they're reinvesting into the growth that they can see the bigger picture for where they want to end up. Their priority in those first five years is not profit and different business models lend themselves to more profit earlier on as well particularly product-based businesses. You have to invest a lot into products, warehousing, shipping. There are so many more hard costs that you have to pay up front in order to get the results on the back end. Service-based businesses, if you're just working as a freelancer, guess what? 90% of your income is going to be profit. So different business models, different businesses, different people have different goals. I know for myself, I was working full time for my whole first year in my business. Every single dollar that I earned from my full time job, which wasn't much, to be honest, and from my business. Yes, I made multiple six figures in my first year, but no, not one dollar of that was profit in my first year. Because guess what? I went to New York Fashion Week. I invested in warehouses. I invested in figuring shit out. I invested in learning. I invested in all of the things that now five years down the track, I have a business that is basically working on autopilot for me. And that was a choice that I made myself. But does that mean that I was any less successful? Does that mean that my efforts to make over $300,000 in my first year should be discredited? No, because that's a freaking huge. And that is in the top percentage of businesses in their first years, especially in a product based business in a business that is seasonal, such as swimwear, like that's a huge accomplishment. And I'm allowed to say that. So many women have trouble even saying that they're proud of themselves. So I want to encourage you to even just start there. So if you are ready for more success, here is a strategy I would love for you to use instead, because I know that this may be an unpopular opinion, but I wanted to give you something that is going to be much more powerful, so much more of a success mindset shift than discrediting or trying to rationalize why someone else's success has happened. This is an exercise that I actually work through regularly with my one-on-one coaching clients. And sometimes the simplest of tasks, such as the one I'm going to share with you, have the most profound results and impact on their entire lives, not just their businesses. So if you are wanting more success in your business, please stop focusing on everyone else and start focusing on you. Here is my little exercise that you can use as and implement into your business so you can overcome that comparisonitis. Let's start focusing back on you because guess what? You cannot control what other people do. You shouldn't even try to control what other people do because they're on their own journey and you need to focus on yourself. You are the only thing that you have control over. And guess what? It's pretty damn powerful when you can take back control over your own life, over your own business and over your own success. So let's stop comparing. Let's stop discrediting others' success and start celebrating them. But firstly, I want you to make sure you do this exercise and really focus on it this week. 
because this is not going to be something that you do for a week and then you're done forever. I want you to focus on it this week consistently because once you can focus on it for this week, then I have no doubt you can continue to work on this ongoing and make it part of your daily routines. But mindset shifts do take time and they do take commitment and consistency. So let's work on bring that focus back on you. And I'm going to explain exactly what you need to do right now. So feel free to grab a pen and paper or come back and listen to this a bit later. Now, step one is to practice gratitude daily. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah, I've heard that one before. But when people practice gratitude, they often write down, I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful that I have food today, which are amazing because that is fulfilling those basic human needs. But guess what? If you're focusing on comparison, you're looking at all the things you haven't done in your business And it's not necessarily going to help you by focusing on your family, food and house. Great, those things are really good. But what we want to focus on is focusing on the things that are going to move you forward in business. So here is what I want you to do in your daily gratitude. Now, you can do this in the morning or you can do this in the evening, but I want to make sure that you're doing this at least once a day. So I want you to write down three things that you are proud of yourself for achieving. It could have been achieved in that day. It could have been achieved in the last week. Maybe it was achieved in the last six or 12 months. But what I want you to do is write down three things you are grateful for that you have achieved. You could write down, I'm grateful or proud of myself that I got up today. Even though I wasn't feeling well, I got up and I answered five emails. Or I'm proud of myself for actually giving myself that time to rest. Because as entrepreneurs, if you guys are anything like me, sometimes we don't give ourselves enough time to rest. But these things are going to be unique to you. It can be something very simple. But what we want to do is train our brain to appreciate and respect and be proud of what you have done. So we're shifting the perspective on what others are doing and what we haven't done to what we have done. The more we can focus on the positives, the more we can focus on what we have achieved the more you will achieve. Like, let me repeat that. The more you can focus on what you have achieved, the more you will actually achieve in the future. So this is actually training your brain to recognize and realize that you are capable of the success that you desire. That is so much more powerful than looking at the fact that someone else hasn't done as well as you initially thought they did. How does that help you? How does that help by bringing someone else down? Bring someone else down to where you feel comfortable for them to be at. How about let's elevate yourself? Let's not worry about what they're doing and let's lift them up as well. Let's not bring people down. So what we want to do is really focus on that because what we want to do is elevate ourselves to another level that we want to be at. And by doing that, we do need to practice these gratitudes daily and show ourselves that we are capable of everything we desire. Like I said, these things can be something small because what we're doing here is training our brain that we are capable of what we set out to do. So that's why we do need to do it daily. We need to repeat this. Um, And maybe you're sitting here right now thinking, that sounds great, Jess, in theory, but I haven't achieved anything. I want you to stop right there because that is the number one thing that is holding you back right now. You may feel like you're not achieving anything. You may feel like you're not getting any closer to your goals. I'm going to tell you right now, it's because of that mindset. It's got nothing to do with the strategies. It's got nothing to do with anything other than your mindset right now, because you're just telling yourself that you can't do it 
you're you not capable of achieving anything you set out to do. So what's the point in trying? Your brain will take that as the truth and it's going to do everything in its power to be correct. So you need to practice this even more than someone else who might be sitting there thinking, oh, great, I've got a few things I can write down. Because if you stay stuck in that mindset of I can't achieve anything, I haven't achieved anything, I've still got so much more to do and I'm not getting anywhere, you're going to remain stuck. But trust me, there is always, always, always a bunch of things you could write down every day. There's at least three things you can write down. Don't tell me there's not. If you are still thinking there's not, please reach out and send me a DM on Instagram because I would love to help you work through this. My Instagram is at jess.williamson8. I'll put it in the show notes as well. But I want to help you get unstuck. Now, I'm only asking you to do three, three things, three things that you're proud of each day. There are so many things that you could write down. So just start there. You could even write down the same three things on a few days. Try and have new things, but reinforcing these things to yourself every day is the key, even if they are the same things. It's telling yourself, hey, look at what I have achieved. When I set out to achieve things, I can do it. We're shifting that focus back onto you and what you can control and what you can achieve. So these three gratitudes do not have to be big. I just want to share a couple of examples with you um, just so that you can really understand what I'm talking about. It could be, I am so proud of myself for ticking that thing off my to-do list, actioning something that you've been putting off for a little while. It could literally be as simple as signing up to a new course or a coach or investing in yourself and taking that step forward. Or maybe it's ticking off some admin that you meant to do Um, but you've just been too busy to do it. Everyone has something. So I hope this really has inspired you to change that perspective because if you can bring that power back to yourself, it will elevate yourself to that next level. And believing in yourself is so much more powerful than bringing others down to where you feel comfortable for them to be. If you can master this, you are truly going to be unstoppable. So please do reach out and let me know what you thought of this episode. Send me a DM. I love hearing from you. Um, My inbox is always open and I always do reply. So please don't hesitate to reach out. And I would even love to hear what are your three gratitudes? Like what are three things that you're proud of? I would love to hear from you. So let's stop bringing others down and let's start celebrating other women. But most of all, start celebrating yourself. I hope you have an amazing day. If you have enjoyed this episode or any other episode that I've ever released, then please do me a huge favor and leave a review. Click five stars or whatever stars you want to give me and uh, let everyone know what you think about this podcast. It does help get the word out there. And also, if you could, please share it to your social media, share it to your Instagram stories and make sure to tag me because word of mouth is the best way to get this out there. If it's inspired you, also pay it forward. Share this with a friend, share this with a fellow colleague or someone that you know that possibly could really benefit from this as well. Um, I'm here to spread the inspiration with you guys and it just lights me up. But if we could reach even more people, imagine the impact we could have on the world. So let's change the world together and hope that that inspires you and everyone else around you. So have an amazing day and I will speak to you all very soon.